I'm Carolyn Prasuti with the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. Food companies say a new kind of maize could take the crunch out of corn chips and other popular foods. The big Swiss company, Syngenta, genetically engineered the maize to contain an enzyme called alpha amylase. The company says this enzyme will help the crop produce more ethanol, a renewable fuel, while using less water and energy. Syngenta official Jack Burnens says the enzyme breaks the starch down into sugar, which is then fermented into ethanol. A 2007 law requires gasoline in the United States to contain renewable fuels. About 40 percent of America's corn crop is being used this year to make ethanol. The Department of Agriculture has approved the genetically modified maize without restrictions. But five major groups in the food industry say they are concerned that the new maize could enter the food supply. In a joint statement, they say the enzyme that breaks down starch could harm the taste of their products. For example, they say it might soften cereals and cause corn chips to lose their satisfying crunch. Mary Waters heads one of those food groups, the North American Miller's Association. She says even a small amount of the maize could cause problems if it mixes with corn used to make food. Snack foods made with corn are a $6 billion industry in the United States. In 2001, genetically modified corn made by Syngenta was found in the food supply chain without approval. Syngenta paid a fine to the government. Jim McCarthy, president of the Snack Food Association, says the incident caused no health problems, but he says it did cause major disruptions in the availability of food grade corn. So his group is urging Syngenta to reconsider their plan. Syngenta says it would take measures to keep the new maize out of the food supply. Jack Burnens says the company will sell seeds only to farmers who take their crops to nearby ethanol processing plants. He says the company will not sell seed in areas where food makers get their maize. Mr. Burnens says the company has done a lot of research and found that the risk from a few kernels is overstated. The food industry groups object to conditions placed on companies that want to study that research. Syngenta says it has trade secrets to protect. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.